Hey family, how are you guys doing? I just want to start this video off by preferencing no, I'm not too lazy to write my newsletters. I literally have no time. And so I'm going to spend a little bit and get into what I've been up to, um, what's been going on this fall, this summer, um, what I'm doing here in Lynchburg, new jobs, new positions, where I'll be going, I'll be out of the country and traveling and so forth. Um, so starting off, I want to um, you know thank everybody that's been praying for me, that's been following along with these newsletters. Um, this is going to be a video one, so instead of reading and seeing a lot of pictures, you just get to watch this. So it should be pretty easy. Um, I'll add some links in the video, that way you can get to certain sites to get to just more information about what's going on. Um, so starting off, I had been applying for tons of jobs. Um, I lived in Lynchburg, Virginia this summer working at a uh, manufacturing company and it was a temporary technician job that I had during the school year while I was graduating and they said I could stay there until I found a full-time job. So Genworth Financial Insurance Company, they offered a full-time project management. Um, I think it's like a associate business of project or process solutions that's like the title of the position but essentially project management i have these huge projects you know um like half of a year to a year long um i think i'm up to like three projects i'm leading and then i have my hands in four other projects so super fast paced super exciting um one of the reasons why i really believe god wanted me in that position um really i guess you could say two reasons like the lord when i asked him you know out of college what do you want me to do and he was like i want you to stay where you're at for a couple years um my heart you know as many of you all know working with missions using my engineering degree and applying it to the mission field how can we make you know missionaries better at what they do and so that's what i want to get into and i really believe the lord you know my internship from la from last year at Water Mission, the Lord's kind of like, you know, that's that's kind of like, you know, down the road. But for the next couple of years, I want you to be in Lynchburg because of the roots that I've planted and the foundations and different ministries that I've set you up in. And so with that kind of a mindset, you know, I was planning for tons of jobs here in Lynchburg. And Genworth offered me this project management job. It kind of went along the lines of the um, certifications that I'm going after. Um, Greenbelt and Six Sigma and then work wants me to get my certificate association of project management So that's like the baby PMP and so um, I accepted yes to the job and um, Kind of jumped into it. Um, I think this was like my fifth week working so pretty exciting um, But the really nice thing and like the reason that kind of pushed me over the edge when I was praying about it they offer 20 days of vacation so that's four weeks of vacation plus here's what's really cool they offer a whole nother week for me to take off for volunteer hours okay um people in the company they're like yeah i use my volunteer week and just go do a missions trip and so i was like five weeks yeah i, th I think i can make this work <laughs> and so um you know i accepted a job and um, it's been a blast. Super high paced, great team I'm working with. Um, really enjoying it so far. Um, it is full time, 40 hours a week, benefits, stuff like that. Um, 8.30 to five every day. So that eddy steady. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, two things that um, are carrying over into this year of being out of school is the watch. So, um, as many of you all know, the Watch is a prayer and worship uh, ministry at Liberty University, and we're actually going to have a meeting tonight, and it's going to be exciting, it's going to be awesome. Um, pretty much, we exist to um, enable students to um, wait, awaken, to change history. That's what the Watch stands for, W-A-T-C-H, and um, we really just guide like students through prayer and through worship encounter Jesus um, a lot of them we push for missions movement so a lot of students um, out of the watch they go out and they'll like travel in Nepal um, they'll go to Africa you know they'll go to Asia and so it's really exciting to see that you know the seeds that God is using us to plant students lives so we get to see it come full circle 
so it's super exciting. So still carrying on in the watch. Um, I used to be the president of the club at, Li at Liberty University, and I'm no longer the president as I'm not a student anymore, but I handed that uh, role over to a student named Matthew, and he is doing an amazing job. It's really cool to see how, you know, in that position, like God, you know, allowed me to kind of lay the foundation for what the watch would look like as a club at Liberty University. The meeting's been happening for like 12 years and it never became a club just because there was like some issues going on with like regulations and also because there was no one to really take the initiative. And so when we had the opportunity, we jumped on it and we kind of laid the foundation of what the next generation could go after. And so it's really cool to see Matthew coming into this position and where my ceiling was, that's his floor. So everything that he's doing, he's building off of the work in the previous you know, years that we kind of laid, the foundation we laid. So it's really cool to see him adding on to what like the Lord is doing in the watch. And so my role um, being in the watch, I am kind of like, an, um, like a facilitator and advisor. I think that'd be a better term. Um, you know, I help run the watch on Tuesday nights, especially as one of our um, other facilitators, David Drogi, is in Colorado. Um, he'll be coming back soon. Really exciting. But um, I help run the watch. So that looks like speaking, praying. Um, I do pretty much everything except actually lead and sing the songs. So I play the box drum and, um, you know, I coordinate all of that. So it's super exciting. Um, another thing that I'm still doing and kind of change positions, Liberty University's climbing team. So last year I was the team manager because I couldn't be a coach while I was a student. But now that I'm no longer a student, I'm an official assistant coach of Liberty University's rock climbing team. So that's super exciting. A lot of stuff is going on with that. And, um, you know, early mornings on Monday and Friday when I'm coaching, uh, we coach from 6 to 8. So super early with that. And it's really awesome. I believe the Lord wants me to continue in that role because it ties directly into what I'm doing with Solid Rock Climbers for Christ. Now, Solid Rock, there's been some, um, you know, rapid changes recently in the nonprofit. Um, you know, it definitely exciting times. If you've kept up with my Facebook feed. Um, or if anything that's kind of been going on with the nonprofit, the director, Calvin Landris, um, somebody who I love dearly and considered a truly a mentor. Um, he was who I, you know, worked underneath. He trained me on how to be a chapter coordinator. Um, I called him up, you know, when I had the idea of leading a team to Morocco. Um, I called him up when, you know, I had the idea or what to do when we were doing you know, pancakes at the New River Gorge in West Virginia in different outreaches. And he was really able to like pour into my life with the experience that he had. So he was truly someone that I looked up to as a mentor. He um, was in um, Cuba last winter and uh, he came back and he found out that he got bit by some ticks and got Lyme disease. The Lyme disease revealed that he had early acute stages of leukemia and because of the leukemia and the complications from the chemo treatment, um, there was a situation that occurred and he needed to have some surgery. And then through complications, he wasn't able to make it out of that. And so um, he is now with the Lord and, um, you know, he's in a better place. But it's crazy just how quickly, like, like a year ago, you know, I was with him and he was here in Lynchburg. Like he slept at my house like a year ago. How crazy is that to think? So with some of the changes that's happened in Solid Rock, there is this vacancy for the director's position. And at first, you know, I was like, oh, I'm super excited. Maybe I could like fulfill that role. But it would also be crazy to be 22 at the time and run a really large nonprofit. So maybe I was like, uh, um, maybe <laughs> hold the brakes on that. Um, and so the Lord kind of directed me, you know, when I started to really pray about it. And he was like, Corey, I want you to take on more responsibility within the nonprofit. He's like, if you want to be a leader, if you want to be a leader, you got to take on more responsibility. And so I was like, okay, Lord, you know, let's take on more responsibility. Um, 
when Calvin um, was diagnosed with Lyme disease, he received an invite to go to um, this national international conference. It's called a summit, um, and it's with the Action Sports Ministry Network, the AX Network. And he was invited to come to the summit. He went to it last year when it was in California. This year it's in Germany. And the reason for this network is to really to bring together the leaders and a lot of the department heads, the um, CEOs, if you want to call them that, the vice presidents, the directors of action sports ministries all around the whole world. I think there is anywhere from like 25 to 30 ministries who are represented in this network. They get together and they do pretty much like a business conference. They strategize, you know, what is working really good in a nonprofit. How are we, you know, seeing seeds planted around the world in the different areas the Lord has put in our lives and geographically put us? And then what can we do to implement that in other nonprofits to make each other even more successful? So it's like an amazing brainstorming, strategic, nonprofit, you know, glory, like God is on it, business conference. And Calvin was invited to it again to represent Solid Rock, the whole nonprofit. And, you know, even speak about it in different sessions. And um, when he had Lyme disease, um, there was no way he could he could attend that. He couldn't, you know, make the trip to Germany. And so he sent out an email to me and a few other people asking if we'd be interested in taking his position representing Solid Rock at this um, nonprofit business conference, pretty much. And at the time, I received that. It would have been in uh, um, probably like, April-ish, I think I received the email, and, you know, I kind of gave it a, t a tentative yes, um, you know, it's like, I think I could do that, I think I can make it work, so fast forward a little bit, you know, Calvin passes away, the other people in the email thread, it wasn't really feasible to work out their schedule, and with me, you know, graduating and not having any debt, I was like, let's go after it, let's make this happen, and so I sent out a bunch of, um, financial letters to a lot of people who have supported me in the past when I went to Nepal and then also to Morocco and I just want to thank you guys I received you know some of the money from that um Solid Rock has been a little slow because Calvin's not there to process a lot of things so we're still kind of in the transition but um with my new job I'll be able to supplement you know extra money and be able to pay for the trip to Germany now, um, here's what's crazy. I'm leaving in uh, six days for Germany. So Monday night, I'll be driving to D.C. and I'll be flying out. I'll land in Turkey and then I'll bounce over to Germany in Munich where I'll land Tuesday night and then I'll stay the night in Munich and then participate in the business conference Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then fly back on Sunday to the U.S. and then show up to work actually probably show up to practice at 6 a.m. Um, on Monday. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a good time. Um, and then it's just going to be a lot of resting in the opportunities that are given throughout the trip. Um, two other things I want to touch real quick. Um, one being the Kraken Classic. So Solid Rock Climbers for Christ. We had a big outreach last weekend at the New River Gorge in, the West, in West Virginia. Um, favorite place probably in the world so far. Every year, the American Alpine Club, the AAC, they have a big uh, festival. And this festival travels the U.S. Every location that the festival is in, in the U.S., these different climbing areas, there's always a solid rock chapter that makes pancakes. And so last year, we were able to fill the gap and become, you know, the chapter or the group of people in the network that... Uh, makes pancakes in West Virginia. Um, that was like the missing link. And so we continued to do that uh, ministry this uh, year, and it was a great success. And so um, the reasons why I believe like this year was even better than last year, some of the feedback I got from the people, um, some of the people that participated in last year and also in this year, they said that it ran smoother. It was, you know, even put together better. And it just felt like that overall we were able to provide a service um, at this festival at a higher quality than last year. Some of those reasons, because it was definitely not my planning, 
some of those reasons were because we had done it before and that there was a lot of prayer going into this event. And so um, while we were, you know, handing out pancakes and we were serving the community Sunday morning, I think it, it was raining a bunch, but there was still about 200, 250 climbers that came to uh, get breakfast that morning. Um, roughly about 300 to 400 climbers were participating in the whole festival. And so while we were serving food, um, some of us who, you know, weren't like, you know, flipping pancakes and on the griddles, we were walking around praying for people and telling people about Jesus. And so it was really exciting. While we didn't see any salvations, we were able to pray over a lot of people, pray for healing, and also, um, you know, introduce a lot of people into the network because they had never heard of Solid Rock. We were able to meet one Christian, so that was really exciting. Um, he was super excited to hear about, you know, all of Solid Rock and um, he, he had just barely heard anything, so we got him connected, so really exciting. Um, second thing coming up uh, for Solid Rock is the National Conference. So um, with Calvin not being here anymore, um, we had an interim director step up, and he's helping, you know, kind of fulfill some of the roles that Calvin was doing, but also with the Lord saying, Corey, I want you to take on more responsibility, um, and taking on this Germany trip, um, also felt, you know, the, the, uh, you could just say, like the Lord was moving and said yes for me to take on the responsibility of planning the national conference for the whole, um, nonprofit. Now, I'm not the only one planning this, um, my friend Andrew, and then also the interim director, uh, Jed, and a few other people were all pitching in. So all of us are pitching in to plan an event this big, because it's going to pretty much encumbrance um, all of the Solid Rock uh, chapter coordinators. And then a lot of the people in the network are all going to come. And, pretty, and all the board of directors are going to come. And we're going to be able to meet each other. And it's going to be the first time that it's ever happened at the New River Gorge. So that's awesome. And it's super exciting. But that's going to be October 25th to the 28th. And then I'll personally be there with a group from Liberty from the 26th to the 28th so those are some things that I've been up to some things that I've done in the past some things that are going on in the future but I want to create this video and kind of get it out to people about what's been happening what's been going on and I'm super excited um, really about what the Lord is doing and kind of like you know working through this whole idea of there's no way I can keep up with this pace for you know an extended period of time and so I believe that, you know, once I come back from Germany, once the national conference is over, I'll go through November and December and it should slow down some. And I was talking to another friend who, you know, works with this an amazing nonprofit providing health care around the world. And um, he also works at like a super fast pace. He does a lot with his ministry and with the nonprofit. And I asked him, I was like, you know, how do you how do you work um, and get so much going on, so much done and not get burned out? Because that's like that's one of the things, you know, I, like I don't want to burn out in the positions that I believe God has, you know, put me in. And I was like, you know, when you're so busy with all this work and you don't want to do it anymore and you don't want to continue to take on a responsibility, how do you continue to push through that? And he was like, Corey, he was like, the first thing I do, I come to a realization that all of the work I'm doing, it's not my work. It was like, he's, he's like, as Christians, you know, the work that we're doing is the work that the Lord has given us and he's allowed us to partner with him in the process. And so when I come to the realization that, you know, working for Genworth, working with the watch, you know, helping out with the climbing team, doing all the stuff with Solid Rock, that you know it's not on my shoulders it's not you know my burden my responsibility to, to take it all um like the lord is going to work out all the plans and all i have to do is partner with them in the movement and so he was explaining that to me and it kind of brought me into the understanding it was like okay you know i can kind of see how that works and it was really exciting um in the situation for example like the crag classic this past weekend being like really busy and um like also knowing the information i knew from last year when we planned the event 
um, I wasn't able and I didn't do as much planning for this year. And so that really um, created a situation where I had to rely heavily on the people that God put around me. And so it was really exciting how, you know, with a biblical, you know, worldview and also the Holy Spirit as, Holy Spirit as guidance, the key people that God, you know, kind of like pulled out of the climbing community here in Virginia and also on the East Coast and brought to this outreach event, the Lord highlighted different areas at which they excel at naturally the gifts that he's given them and he's like Corey I want you to put them in positions this week and they're in this event to where they can excel naturally at the gifts and the talents I'd given them so leveraging the people to do what they're you know made to do and when you put them in those sorts of positions is amazing how you know everybody functions so well and so it was really cool to see how when I had to rely on, you know, the team that the Lord had brought around me, um, like how well they stepped up to the plate, especially when, you know, I understood and like how the Lord showed me like the different areas where they excel at. And then you put them in those roles. And so those were definitely some, you know, lessons I had learned from this past outreach with the Crying Classic. And then also how, you know, I believe the Lord is going to sustain me. As I continue, you know, somewhat with a busy pace, but also just working in ministry and not burning out. And so I want to thank you guys. Um, hope this video wasn't too long. Please email me back feedback um, if this was good or not. Um, hopefully I can get back to writing my letters. I really do enjoy writing those. But for this one, there just wasn't time as I'm leaving so quickly for Germany and wanted to get the word out to you guys. But I want to thank you so much for watching this. Definitely let me know what you think um, and send me emails and I'd love to hear from you guys.